Hi everyone, Miss Terry here. We are going to do some story time, and since we're doing the letter K this week, I thought we could do the kissing hand. K is for kiss. So we're going to do the kissing hand. This story is by Audrey Penn. Audrey Penn wrote the words in the story. And it says the illustrations are by Ruth E. Harper and Nancy M. Leek. They drew the pictures. They did the art that goes with the words in the story. Let's get started. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester by the hand and nuzzled him on the ear. Sometimes we all have to do things we don't want to do, she told him gently. Even if they seem strange and scary at first, but you will love school once you start. And here she is talking to Chester. Sometimes kids feel nervous about going to school the first time. So the mom is trying to make Chester feel a little bit better about this. You might not be going to school right now, that's okay. But when it's time for you to go to school, sometimes kids feel a little nervous, sometimes not. Sometimes kids are ready to go. You'll make new friends and play with new toys. Read new books and swing on new swings. Besides, she added, I know a wonderful secret that will make your nights at school seem as warm and cozy as your days at home. Hmm, raccoons must go to school at night. That's different, isn't it? Chester wiped away his tears and looked interested. A secret? What kind of secret? A very old secret, said Mrs. Raccoon. I learned it from my mother, and she learned it from hers. It's called the kissing hand. The kissing hand, asked Chester. What's that? I think we're about to find out. I'll show you. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester's left hand and spread open his tiny fingers into a fan. Leaning forward, she kissed Chester right in the middle of the palm. Chester felt his mother's kiss rush from his hand, up his arm, and into his heart. Even his silky black mask tingled with a special warmth. Mrs. Raccoon smiled. Now, she told Chester, Whatever you feel long, whenever you feel lonely and need a little loving from home, just press your hand to your cheek and think, my mommy loves you. Mommy loves you. Mommy loves you. And that very kiss will jump to your face and fill you with toasty, warm thoughts. She took Chester's, Chester's hand and carefully wrapped his fingers around the kiss. Now, do be careful not to lose it, she teased him. But don't worry. When you open your hand and wash your food, I promise the kiss will stick. Chester loved his kissing hand. 
Now he knew his mother's love would go with him wherever he went, even to school. That night, Chester stood in front of his school and looked thoughtful. Suddenly, he turned to his mother and grinned. Give me your hand, he told her. What do you think he's going to do? Chester took his mother's hand in his own and unfolded her large, familiar fingers into a fan. Next, he leaned forward and kissed the center of her hand. Now you have a kissing hand, too, he told her. And with a gentle goodbye and I love you, Chester turned and danced away. Mrs. Raccoon watched Chester scamper across a tree limb and enter school. And as the hoot owl rang in the new school year, she pressed her left hand to her cheek and smiled. The warmth of Chester's kiss filled her heart with special words. Chester loves you, it sang. Chester loves you. And there are all the animals at school, right where they need to be. I love you. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for The Kissing Hand. We will have one more book for this week tomorrow, and then we'll start some L books next week. Have a great rest of the day. Bye now. I'll try this hand. Bye now.